All right, now let's talk about slash chords. The kings of slash chords is like Steely Dan. So a slash chord, one example, of any, anything is like, say if you had an A chord, you had a different bass, like say you got a B bass on that. So Michael Jackson had a lot of those where he'd have like a A major, but it'd have a B bass. So it'd have like a two in the bass. That kind of stuff. Um, this would be another example. You got like a C chord on the bottom here, five, five, three, but you got a D bass. That kind of sound. So even Bill Withers like used that one in um, Lovely Day, he has that kind of thing. So here's an example of Steely Dan. They're gonna have um, Josie. Let's look at the chorus of Josie. And this uses a lot of the chords we've talked about. So this is a raise nine off the F sharp. That'd be like nine, eight, nine, ten. And this is an augmented chord. This is a B, B7 augmented type thing. So you got seven, skip one, seven, eight, eight. So you got that sharp five in there that makes it augmented. So we got a raise nine on the F sharp, augmented on the B. We got an E minor seven. Now this is gonna be one of these slash chords. So they have a four in the bass a lot of times in Steely Dan stuff. So this is a C chord. The fourth note of C is F, so we have an F in the bass. So we got same chords here, E minor seven to A seven this time. Then they go A minor. Always interesting when you go from a major to a minor in the same chord. You know that's a modulation. To a D seven nine James Brown funk chord. Let's go over those again. major seven I got the three bass and then I got four four three two C major seven is a C just with the one out right and we got this F sharp raise nine and we got a B seven sharp nine so once again we got F sharp raise nine B augmented E minor seven to C slash F F sharp raise nine again B augmented, E minor 7 to A7, and then A minor 7 to D9, or D7-9, G major 7, C major 7, we got an F sharp raise 9 to a B raise 9. Here's another Steely Dan example of a 6-9 chord, we got Kid Charlemagne, so we got an A minor top, we got a G6 top. Then we're gonna have part of this F69. Remember how that went like eight, seven, seven, eight, eight, that kind of shape? They're not gonna use the bass note, they're gonna use the top of it. So it's gonna be three, four, one. And here's another 13 I didn't talk about. So if you have a dominant seven chord, if you were to come back here, Oh, here's the other thing about a dominant seven. A lot of times if you don't want the five in there, you would make it like a D shape on these fourth, third, and second strings and use your bass note up here and not have that fifth in it. Just like a minor seven would be like that. Now if we do this thing to it, we put this note up in here, so we're gonna have like six in this case, this is B flat. Six, skip a string, six, seven, eight. Now we got a 13 in there. Just like. If we had to do this near the open, it'd be one, open, one, 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 three. That'd be a B flat, seven, 13. And that's the same up here. So once again, the Steely Dan song, three, four, one. F six, nine, B flat, B flat, seven, 13 on that one. Thanks a lot. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you soon.